the DC-8, we're preparing for Operation Icebridge this year. It's our third year in uh, supporting this campaign. Uh, these are ice studies uh, down the Antarctic. We fly regularly about 11-hour missions. And uh, for the last three weeks, we've been preparing the aircraft for this effort. Uh, so we're excited to get it going, and we'll be leaving this Sunday on, on this trip. Uh, typically, um, a few weeks before the deployment, we start installing all the uh, science instruments onto the aircraft here at Dryden and then we need to test fly the aircraft before we uh, deploy and we have uh, done this this week so we fly typically over known targets in the Mojave Desert here and over the uh, Pacific Ocean and uh, when we are comfortable that uh, everything works as we expect uh, we are ready for deployment and then we will leave on, on Sunday for Punta Arenas in Chile. And of course there aren't uh, any airfields down on the Antarctic continent that we could easily operate out of so we're operating out of southern Chile. Uh, we're as about as far south in uh, South America as you can get. That gets us as close as you possibly can to Antarctic. Uh, the DC-8 is well suited for this kind of work because of the long legs it can fly. Operation Icebridge is the largest airborne campaign that has ever been flown uh, of the polar ice sheet so far. And uh, I'm really excited to be part of it because we, we fly six different airplanes this year, three of them in the, over the Arctic and three planes on the uh, Antarctic. And the uh, DC-8 is the, uh, the main workhorse for us to, uh, to cover a lot of ground over the Antarctic Peninsula and, and the many glaciers that flow in the, uh, into the Southern Ocean. We are going back every year over the same glacier in Antarctica and measure with uh, extreme precision how the uh, surface elevation has changed from year to year. And that tells us how much ice Antarctica is losing.